Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video. Today, I'm gonna to go over my Blue Underground collection, which consists of these two shelves here in front of you. Blue Underground is a US distribution company and they were a subsidiary of Anchor Bay. And in the early 2000s, when William Friedkin used to own Anchor Bay, Blue Underground kind of split apart from Anchor Bay. And as you know, Anchor Bay is now owned by Lionsgate. So at one time, Anchor Bay was the number one top dog film distributor in the US and they had a lot of great horror films and cult classics that they would release on their label. And since the split from, when Blue Underground split from Anchor Bay, they kind of have taken the torch and they have ran with the genres of horror and cult classics. Although they don't release as many films as I would like them to, they do release really good high quality stuff. They always put a lot of time and effort into their prints and their packaging and their features, their, their extras. They're really a great company and they take pride in what they put out and it shows. And I don't own everything I would like to on Blue Underground, but I do have a fair share of films from their catalog and I will show you guys what I have. And there's always a want list of stuff I don't have, but I guess I'll just get into what I do have and show you guys. And I do have these alphabetized and I do have them with Blu-rays first and I'll show you the DVDs at the end. So we'll get into the first edition here. This is called 99 Women. It's kind of a sleazy women behind bars type film. It's the three disc limited edition. And I really like these editions that they've been putting out over the last couple years. They have uh, two Blu-rays and the CD soundtrack included in here. And just to kind of show you guys a difference in size between this is a regular size Blu-ray and the three disc gets quite a bit bigger. And I really like that packaging. And Blue Underground is really doing a great job with their releases. So the next one here is 1990, the Bronx Warriors, part of the Bronx Warriors trilogy by Enzo G. Castellari. And this is the Blu-ray DVD collector's edition. And these are fun popcorn movies. I remember renting these on tape back in the day. Next one is another fun slasher. I really recommend this one. A film by Dick Moss called Amsterdam. This one takes place in the Netherlands. Has some pretty good kills, pretty good chase scenes. And it's an all around fun, solid movie. I enjoy it. That's Amsterdam, good slasher film. The next one is a very obscure, rare, strange movie called Bad Boy Bubby and it's rare because it went out of print pretty quick and it's hard to find this one. I don't believe uh, many of these had been released. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic type film about a son and his mother and they do, uh, they have a, a very unusual relationship. I won't get into that. It, it's, a, it's the kind of movie that when you're done watching it, you feel like you need to take a shower because you feel grimy after you know and not in a good way i mean it's it, it's it's fun to have the movie because it's a rare piece but it's not a, a good movie to watch it doesn't have a rewatchable value to it the next one is called the bird with the crystal plumage this is a argento masterpiece i enjoy this film and although that cover is a little lackluster it's still effective with that black bird and that bright red print with the black background simple but effective and it's this is a good giallo film the bird with the crystal plumage another thing i like about blue underground is they release a wide variety of films so here's a good example they have a spaghetti western this is a two disc special edition of a bullet for the general and these are fun films i like this one with uh, john maria volante and klaus kinski Here's another Spaghetti Western.
called Compañeros with Franco Nero, Tomas Milian, and Jack Palance. It's a Sergio Corbucci film. It does have a little bit of extras there. Here is George A. Romero's The Original, The Crazies. Another kind of a, in a weird way, it's kind of a post-apocalyptic type film. I enjoy it. I like the remake as well. I think they're both good films. There's another Argento film called The Cat o' Nine Tales, starring Carl Malden there. And we have a double billing with Christopher Lee and Klaus Kinski called Circus of Fear and Five Golden Dragons. Films are from 1966 and 1967. Not much in the way of special features, but you do get a good print of two classic films. Here's one of my favorite Fulci films, City of the Living Dead. And that cover is beautiful and it still stands the test of time because I remember seeing that exact cover back in the VHS days hanging up on the wall and I always thought that was a beautiful cover. And it's a great film. Many of you guys have seen this by now but if you haven't I would check this one out. It's got some pretty decent gore in it too. Some pretty good special features. Here is a Jess Franco double billing with Christopher Lee in The Blood of Fu Manchu and The Castle of Fu Manchu. Films are from 1968 and 1969. Unrated. Next one is the triple bill. The, they're calling this one the Dario Argento collection and th in this one it's a three disc set so each movie comes on its own disc. You get the Cat O' Nine Tales, Deep Red, and Inferno. So if you're looking to score a bunch of Argento films in one little package this might be your best bet. Next one is a zombie flick from the early 80s. I believe this one was from 81. Dead and Buried not too many people talk about this one. It's not a great movie, but it's still a fun watch. The town is in on a secret type film. Next one is the Blu-ray DVD collector's edition of Death Dream. Film from 1974. And we have the Blu-ray DVD Collector's Edition of Deathline from 1972, I believe. Uh, this one was genuinely creepy to me. I don't really get creeped out a lot by movies these days, but this one was, had some a good creep factor to it. Do Donald Pleasance and Christopher Lee in this one. Next one is Argento's Deep Red with the Italian title Profondo Rosso. Get a couple special features there. Some goblin music. Some music videos. And you get the original Franco Nero as Django. Very good spaghetti western. And you get Tomas Milian in Django Kill, If You Live, Shoot. This is the unrated edition. And the next one is Dick Moss, film Down. Dick Moss was the one that did Amsterdam. And this was kind of the remake I guess or the reimagining of Lyft I, I think right this one came out in 2001 and we will get to Lyft later I think I have Lyft here is Escape from the Bronx part of the Bronx Warriors trilogy filmed by Enzo, Enzo G. Castellari And then we have some sleaze type film. This is called Eugenie. And this is a Jess Franco film, so you know what you're getting into when it's Jess Franco. 
and this is one of the three disc limited editions that comes with uh, two DVDs and then the CD soundtrack. Worth picking up, in my opinion. Here's a movie that's kind of like a Twilight Zone episode called The Final Countdown with Kirk Douglas and Martin Sheen. This is a film from 1980. Here's a childhood favorite of mine. This is a animated movie from the mind of Ralph Bakshi. Um, this is Fire and Ice and this is a beautiful movie. And it looks really, really good on Blu-ray. Kind of a sword and sandal, sword and sorcery type movie. If you guys like Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, things like that, you would like this one. Comes with a nice slipcover, kind of a foil effect. Really nice. Next one is another Spaghetti Western called Get Mean, starring Tony Anthony. Two disc collector's edition. Decent Spaghetti Western. Next one is called God Told Me To, Larry Cohen film. It takes place on the mean streets of New York City. And you get that, that grimy, 70s feel. The film was made in 1975, so you get that that New York feel to the movie. Here's a twin billing called Hell of the Living Dead and Rats, Nights of Terror. Fun little double bill. I think you could probably get this. It's pretty affordable. It's well, it's well worth the money. I think you could probably get that for 10 to 12 bucks probably. Here's another Fulci classic, The House by the Cemetery. That's another awesome cover. Really love that image. Not really a whole lot to say. You guys have seen these already a hundred times. Here's another Argento film called Inferno. And I enjoy the film. I think Argento doesn't get enough credit for that one. Here's another three disc set, two Blu-rays and a DVD. This is called Marquis de Sade's Justine. You can see Jack Palance in there. That's a pretty good likeness to him. Another Jess Franco Sleaze Fest. You can see Klaus Kinski. And the next one is another triple bill, three disc set of Baba Yaga, Night Train Murders, and Strip Nude for Your Killer. Another way to pick up three movies for an affordable price. I think when these first came out, they were 30 bucks, 29.99. So you're basically getting a movie for 10 bucks a piece. It might even be cheaper than that now, unless they're out of print, I haven't looked. Here's the one I was talking about. This is Dick Moss's The Lift. This, this was the original from 1983. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo collector's edition. Next one is another one I really enjoyed. This is The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. I think this is a very good underrated zombie film. Ray Lovelock is in here. He had an excellent role. Always enjoyed Ray Lovelock in these movies. Here's some Nazi sexploitation called Love Camp 7. Two disc limited uncensored version. So you get two, two versions of the film, the original and the uncensored. I think in the uncensored version they have some steamier scenes. Here is the Fulci three disc set of City of the Living Dead, The House by the Cemetery, and The New York Ripper, all of which are excellent films. I would recommend grabbing this bad boy here if you can get your hands on this one. Unless you're a completist like me and you need to have the single editions and the multi-packs. 
but if you're on a budget and you just want you know or you want to save space just get this one you got three movies on one disc one uh, amory case here is the three disc limited edition of full cheese manhattan baby this one is a blu-ray dvd compact disc so you do get the cd soundtrack and you get a bunch of special features and there's a collectible booklet inside the next one is the first edition they put out of maniac get some pretty decent special features joe spinell at his finest caroline monroe is in here as well william lustig was a guru a genius and then they came out with the three disc limited edition with the lenticular cover with the 4k restoration and this was well worth the upgrade these are beautiful editions they're very heavy very thick really love that edition I, re I would recommend that movie to you guys next one is maniac cop 2 the blu-ray dvd collector's edition comes with a slip cover and these are fun films too very enjoyable to watch maniac the maniac cop, maniac cop series here's part three blu-ray dvd combo badge of silence this is the unrated edition next is a western i guess this is more of a i haven't watched the film yet but from what i hear it's more of a romance western i'm called man pride and vengeance klaus kinski is in here again I gotta pop this one in. This Franco Nero is in here as well. I gotta watch that at some point soon here. I got so many movies on my to watch pile. Next one is a little creature feature film called The Nesting. This one had some pretty decent practical effects in it. Haunted House type movie also known as Massacre Mansion and Phobia, House of Horrors. And that's a film from 1980. Here is the third installment of the Bronx Warriors trilogy, The New Barbarians, Blu-ray DVD collector's edition. Pretty sweet artwork there. And another one of my favorite slasher films. This is Fulci's New York Ripper. I really enjoy this movie. And then they came out with the deluxe three disc edition with the lenticular slipcover. This is the New York Ripper. Look at that artwork. That is just a thing of beauty. That's beautiful. 4K restoration. High five to Blue Underground for this one. It has some new bonus features, 2009 interviews and stuff that was not on the other. You get the Blu-ray DVD and the CD soundtrack. I love it. And we have a, another zombie film. This is called Shockwaves. And Nazi Zombies. Peter Cushing, John Carradine. Comes with this pretty cool slip cover. There's Cushing. And there are the extras. And the last one for this shelf is another slasher that's very underrated. This is called Stage Fright. And I, I rather enjoyed this one as well. It's 
pretty suspenseful, pretty good kills in that one. So that was the end of shelf one. I'll do a little panning at the end of the video. And we'll get into shelf two here, which is only about half a shelf. So we'll slide these over and let's see if we can do this without dumping them. First one is Argento's The Stendhal Syndrome. This is the original, first releasing that they put out of this one. And his daughter is in the movie, Asia Argento. And then they came out with a deluxe. It doesn't have a lenticular cover, but it does have a cool slip cover. This is the three disc limited edition of Stendhal Syndrome. You get two Blu-rays and a DVD. I don't think you get the CD soundtrack in this one. But it's a, a cool addition. I like that. Next one is called Torso. Pretty gruesome giallo film. There were a couple different editions of this one. The one that came with the yellow cover was the cut edition. And the one that came in the red cover like this one is unrated. And it has a lot more gore in it than the yellow cover. Here is Two Evil Eyes, a collaboration between George A. Romero and Dario Argento. And they each had a film segment in this movie. Each of the films were one hour. And it was uh, rather enjoyable. I, I liked it. The next one is called The Toolbox Murders. This is the original Toolbox Murders. I know it has been remade in the 2000s, I think. But this is the original from the 80s. Oh, 1977. Fun little movie. has some clever kills to it. I like that one and the remake. This is another good one. This is kind of a creature feature film, Uncle Sam. And I have fun with this movie. I could watch this one uh, every year. It doesn't really ever get old. It's pretty, it's kind of a, sort of a comedy in a way. And some of the kills are pretty funny. Next one is a creature feature, Killer Snake Venom. Klaus Kinski is in here as well. Susan Day is in here. Susan Day George. And uh, Sterling Hayden is also in here. Film from 1981. That is the Blu-ray DVD collector's edition. And then this was the first time they released Zombie on Blu-ray. This one went out of print with the slipcover. It was hard to find. This is the two-disc Ultimate Edition, Fulci Zombie, also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters and other titles. So, wait a second. Um, and for a while, this was the best way to watch it. And I would never get rid of this because this was a treasure in my collection. And it still is. But when they released these next three, these are unreal. These are beautiful, beautiful editions. And I know a lot of you guys grab these. These are the 4K scan and the three disc limited edition editions of Zombie. And these are prizes in my collection. I love them. And here's the second one, second copy. They released three different covers. This is the Splinter Eye. The same bonus features and everything, just different covers. And here's the third one. This is the bridge, and the zombies go across the bridge. It doesn't really change the image. It just kind of shows the 3D depth of the rows of zombies crossing the bridge. And that was it for the Blu-ray, so now we'll get into the DVDs. And the first one is Fulci Zombie. This was the first way that I was watching the movie. And I love these editions. I 
I'll never get rid of them. I know a lot of people, once they upgrade or they get multiple copies, they sell. But I, I keep everything. I have uh, I don't have a whole lot of room either, that's the thing. But I make do with what I have. Next one is the limited edition of Two Evil Eyes, the George A. Romero and Dario Argento collaboration. This one was limited. It comes with the bonus disc and the chapter insert. It was limited to, I can't remember if it was 20,000, but I got 17,107 for that one. And then Shockwaves, which I have upgraded. Zombie film, that's a cool cover. And Menage, A Man Called Blade, starring Maurizio Merli. Even back in their DVD days, they would release these really beautiful deluxe, you know, clear cases with extras and inserts. Even back in the DVD days, they were putting a lot of uh, good work out. Here is um, Fulci's Don't Torture a Duckling. Here is a, they're calling this a zombie twofer. I didn't open this one because I think this one's pretty rare. It says limited availability, two movies, one low price. You get Uncle Sam and Death Dream in this uh, two pack. So I found that for a really cheap price and I'm just gonna keep it sealed because I have the other movies in different formats. And Here's a, a movie called Bear Behind Bars. It's another sleaze movie, sexploitation. Here is Cannibal Man. Here is The Church. Here's a kind of a rare Fulci film. This is called Conquest. And this is kind of like a sword and sandal barbarian type film. And it's not very good, but it's still a fun watch and I never really hear anybody ever talk about this one. I'd like to see a nice Blu-ray release of that at some point. Here was a deluxe edition of Dead and Buried. Came with the let's see if I can pull this one out. Comes with a kind of a metallic y foil cover. This one was number two. I got number 4,214. I have no idea what it was limited to. But it comes with this digi pack on the inside. And there's a, a little booklet and some art cards. And this was, they were way ahead of their time when they put this out. They were putting stuff out like this on DVD. So that is uh, Dead and Buried. Then I have Fulci's City of the Living Dead. Love that cover so much. And then we had a four pack. They were calling this one the Spaghetti Western Collection. In this little slip box, you get Menage, A Man Called Blade. You get Run Man Run, Django Kill, If You Live Shoot, and the original Django. So that was my Blue Underground Collection. I guess I'll do a quick panning. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Let me know what I need to pick up. Let me know if you were inspired to pick any up from watching this. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.